in the Arlington book of rules of football. It says that when you're placed in a football field, depends on your size. Where my younger sister were always the attackers. As you all know, we want always that even girl. Well, as I was always the goal. Thank you, Master of Ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, most honorable guests. Good evening. Good evening. I started to put away by the time I was 12. I never tasted the enjoyable life of being a teenager since I was huge because of my height and weight measure. I love playing sports and was very active. Since this obesity started with the passion of food and that caused me shyness, loneliness and zero confidence. I hate shopping. I hated shopping because nothing would fit me. And I could only find my size in the boys' section. It was Master Rashid and I shared something in common. Food was our best friend. <laughs> Most of you know that I don't want to eat much now. Compared to the past, it's 360 different. Yes, my mom used to lock the fridge door so I could would stop eating and I would go crazy and crazy just to open it. And I would cry and cry just to open it, please mom. After all that, one summer morning, I woke up and it was the summer holiday. I stood in front of the mirror, look at my size, my body, and say, that's it, Roya. Time to make difference. This starting point came, and the real reason behind that was because people were always asking me how on earth would I fit on those university chair and what of you guys. This, this struggles, and then I started to eat healthy. But before that. I used to eat Pepsi, ice cream, fries, chips, sweets, and with a heartbreak in me. Ice cream, yes, I used to love ice cream. Drink me once. But then, I started to search online for dieting schedules. Then, I started to eat healthy. I ate foods for boiled eggs in the morning. Salad with, with grilled chicken in the lunch. And no food after 6 p.m., of course. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't eating dinner. That's how I started. So I lost a lot of fats. Especially the fats that inside me. On my heart, lungs, and kidneys. Then the school started. Everyone was shocked about my transformation. And they would all say, is that really Roya? I don't deny that I faced problems with my with my dad. Oh yeah, I really did. I in the beginning I was crying and crying when my sister would order from McDonald's, just me, and because I was patient and motivated to control myself, I would go and hide a little just to even not smell the food. Imagine. With these struggles and patience, I started to give back my confidence. Also, I managed how to eat at school. As before, I was stealing my food. That was <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, now I can run for 40 to 45 minutes compared to the past. Ladies and gentlemen, I lost, after doing my gym, I also created 
my my gym, a small gym at home. So I can do my exercise every day and every time. I can proudly proudly say that now I can run for 10 kilos a day and do hundreds of times. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a proud thing to show you all. That's my old genes. Dear friends, that you have no, now that you have heard about my journey with diabetes, I hope that it has helped you to understand why health is so important in everyone's life. Start, let's start, let's start to the point. I struggle a lot and feel as well. But behind every success, there is a failure. Let's today be your starting point toward a healthier you, toward your goals. Start slowly to reach where you want to be and never give up. Your goal shouldn't be to get fit, but your goal should be to get healthy and clean from the inside. Let's today be your starting point.